According to the Dallas Morning News, the city of Dallas is considering limiting the amount of homes that real estate investors can acquire. This is mainly due to combat the rising home prices right here in the DFW Metroplex. In addition, when you factor in the raising interest rates, it's making it very difficult for homeowners to purchase properties. I've noticed recently that many condo buildings and certain neighborhoods and subdivisions are becoming very strict with the guidelines in regards to investors. So in this video, I'm going to take a short flight and see what other real estate investment options there are out there internationally. So if you're a real estate investor and want to look at additional investment options or you just want to follow me for a damn good time, stay tuned. Quería casarme, yo tan loco en ilusionarme Creyendo en tus besos y tus caricias La verdad no fue el culpable Ay, Todo tiene un propósito y dejarme será solo uno más Siempre a medias no he logrado encontrar just checked into the hotel waiting for my room to be available so enjoying a nice drink right here in Mexico City the views are absolutely breathtaking from this hotel so the reason that I'm here in Mexico City is that we work with a client of ours in Dallas that we've assisted over the past decade he's an investor has homes throughout the state of Texas and throughout the country however he wants to diversify his portfolio and Mexico is of interest to them, particular Mexico City. A lot of investors in Mexico City have been selling their homes, so there's a lot more inventory on the market here. So he believes there's a lot of opportunity to be had right here in Mexico City and other parts of Mexico as well. When you're a savvy investor, it's always great to diversify, so I completely understand. And I will say this, guys, if you're looking for property in Dubai, Bali, Europe, Asia, and you want to fly me out, the number one broker in the state of Texas, obviously, let me know. Send me a direct message, call me, send me an email, however you want to communicate, and I'll be on that next flight to assist you with your next real estate transaction and absolutely make sure that we get you a great deal in the process. So I'm going to enjoy some lunch here and then I'm going to get to the room pop out the laptop and start looking at the different real estate options that he's interested in. So stay tuned. I'm deep in the streets right here in Mexico City trying to discover the next big real estate deal and I'm not going back to the hotel till I find at least one good investment for my client. So I'm going to beat these streets. And once we find something, we'll record it, do the numbers, see if it adds up and makes sense. Just arrived at Polanco, I believe I'm saying it correct, right here, it's an area in Mexico City. It's known as the Beverly Hills of Mexico. And when you compare it to Highland Park in Dallas, oh, what can I tell you? There is absolutely no comparison. I've never been to this area in Mexico City and let me tell you, it is stunning. Just took a drive with a cab past several Louis Vuitton stores, Gucci, Armani, Fendi, 
everything that you can find in Beverly Hills. You can find it right here and then some. So we're walking around about to check out these townhome communities right behind me and check out other real estate options. But if you're ever in Mexico City, God, this neighborhood is absolutely beautiful. Large, mature trees, beautiful townhomes, single family homes, gated. It is stunning. And we just passed several streets with a ton of restaurants, outdoor patios. It looks amazing. And I am so blessed today, the last several days here in Mexico City, the weather has been perfection. So I'm excited to keep walking around and show you more of Mexico City. Just to give you an idea in regards to the prices right here in Mexico City, we're still in Polanco and we're on this beautiful street, tree lined with trees, as there's a car about to come out, but it's okay, we're gonna slide over. This home is for rent right behind me. It's a three bedroom, three bath, just 2,100 square feet. And the current rental price is $6,500 per month. Man, I thought Dallas was expensive. That's why my guy is here looking at some investment opportunities. Definitely makes sense. Another thing I noticed about the majority of the homes right here in Mexico is that they're going to have privacy walls up in the front and I absolutely love it. It's not due to safety or crime right here in Mexico City. We're probably one of the safest neighborhoods in all of Mexico. And quite frankly, it's probably safer than the majority of neighborhoods and areas in Dallas, Texas. So it's just for privacy. And if my family was to come over as usual, I wouldn't open the door and they would not know if I was home or not. So I might have to build a wall back home in Dallas, Texas. Sitting here at Parole Restaurante in Polanco, Mexico, and it is a beautiful day. We had a great game plan of previewing half a dozen different properties today. However, we've kind of gotten off track. So many beautiful, amazing restaurants with awesome patios, great food, and obviously some of the best margaritas in the world. So we might have to regroup and come back to Polanco tomorrow to finish the rest of the tours because uh, I have a feeling we're gonna get up and hit the next patios all the way down the street. So I hope you're having a great day back in Texas or wherever you're from. It's a beautiful day and a great day to be alive. So we'll regroup, see you tomorrow. As you can tell from the backdrop, I made it to the next patio. I have to say, I've been all around the world and I've never been to an area city that has as many restaurants and patios as Mexico City right here in Polanco. So many, well over a hundred. I wouldn't be surprised. It's two, three hundred restaurants with patios. And the thing about it is they are all beautiful, amazing. And we've been to four or five already just this afternoon and the service has been exceptional regardless of the price range, whether it was a five-star restaurant or a two-star restaurant, the service has been impeccable regardless of the places that we've dined at or had drinks at. Big difference in the service I noticed in this particular area than even back home, which has been great and a nice change of pace. My man right here just hustled me into buying a bunch of chocolate cake, but his sales skills were amazing. He gave him some cash, he was well-deserved. Now he's trying to sell me his Gucci bag right there that he paid 300 pesos for. He's trying to talk me into it. Cuanto cuesta, amigo? Uh, 300 pesos. 300 pesos, man, for some Gucci. I think that's a hell of a deal. Thank you, amigo. Oh, all right, baby. Yeah, you know, it's better busy than easy. Si, sí. como esta el restaurante La Rosa Negra? Es uno de los mejores restaurantes que tenemos hasta ahorita en Ciudad de México, en el área de Polanco. Okay, muy bien. Headed to Rosa Negra for early dinner. And one thing you'll notice about Mexico City is the traffic never ends. It's non-stop. 
But the very interesting thing about it is I haven't seen one single wreck, even though I had a con video in regards to living in Dallas, in regards to aggressive drivers, and I assure you it doesn't compare by any means. They can be on the far right hand lane and make a U-turn across four lanes and go the opposite direction. But the traffic right here in Mexico City is brutal. However, if you live in the Roma, Polanco area, at least the drives aren't very far, only a couple of miles away. So about to check out Rosa Negra. Supposedly it's one of the best restaurants right here in Mexico City. Tell you all about it once we arrive. I'm in Mexico. <laughs> My boss prepared this bill. Oh, beautiful, my man. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. That is one big ass spear. Gracias, amigo. Uh, it's another beautiful day right here in Mexico City. We're back at it looking at some other real estate options. We're about to go look at a unit at the Ritz. We're staying in the hotel so they're giving us access. Not sure if that's the best investment opportunity for our client, but at least we're going to take a look at it. Have three other properties right here scheduled debating on whether we want to put it on the video here the next week maybe wait until we get it under contract if the numbers work out and that's the case however maybe we'll take a look at some rentals but in the meantime we're definitely going to explore mexico some more it's a gorgeous gorgeous day back in polanco dozens and dozens of patios on each side of the street massive park thousands of people out and about today it is a beautiful day man i am loving Mexico City. Let's come on the vehicle. Okay. Late afternoon, finally getting around to getting some brunch. Beautiful weather here in Mexico City. Just viewed a couple of properties. Going to eat real quick. Meet our realtor once again, which the one bad thing that I don't like here is that I have to be doing business with a realtor from a different company and I don't like it. She's doing a great job though. She's been phenomenal. Great real estate agent. However, we might have to open up a VIP realty office right here in Mexico. I'm here at Calle Seneca, about to tour a couple of the townhomes right here in this particular street. This is going to be your average neighborhood right here in Polanco. You have everything at your fingertips. You have the, uh, I believe it's OXO is the neighborhood corner store right here. In addition to that, you can walk literally two blocks down the street. You're going to have more restaurants than you can frequent in a year. A ton of shopping centers nearby. Numerous huge malls. So if you're going to reside in Mexico City, Polanco is definitely going to be the place to be. So hopefully we'll take a tour of a couple of these condos we can get a good deal maybe the comps add up i know the rental rates have to add up because everything that we've looked at in regards to rents has started at six thousand usd wow the rent's expensive Para ti de mi amanecer, ¿qué será? ¿Será? ¿Qué será de mí? 
We're here at our final neighborhood of the trip, and it's probably my favorite. This neighborhood is absolutely amazing. As you can see behind me, most of these homes have these high walls for security and mainly for privacy, and you really never know what you're going to get behind the walls. I'm here at Sierra Grande and I can't pronounce the name of the streets. My Spanish is very suspect. Yes, it's very embarrassing. However, this neighborhood is amazing. Mexico City has a lot to offer for investors, whether you're looking for a townhome, condo, single family, multifamily, you wanna do Airbnb, short-term rentals, long-term rentals. There's a lot of opportunity right here in Mexico City. And I can assure you, the people here and the people who relocate here and come here for leisure, pleasure, and business have the wherewithal and the resources to spend a whole lot of money on their properties. Just got dressed, headed to the 56th floor to the restaurant Lean Lean for our final meeting of the trip. We've had an absolute blast. And guys, this is as dressy as it's going to get right here. Gotta have tennis shoes on. We are in Mexico City after all. Just landed here at the DFW International Airport back home in Dallas, Texas. I had a blast in Mexico City. Very fun looking at different real estate investment opportunities around the world. Not just only here at home, but around the US. There's definitely a lot of opportunities to be had. Saying that there is no place like being right here in Dallas, Texas, which is home. I love the fact that I'm back home and I'm excited to get back to my children and to VIP Realty, all its agents, clients, BLE basketball. So super excited to be home but I did have a heck of a time in Mexico, I must say. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're thinking about relocating to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex or throughout the state of Texas, my team and I would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction, whether it's an investment, an acquisition, or your personal residence. We'd be happy to help you. We'll see you on the next video.